Ben Carpenter here. I'm going to answer the question I posted on my Facebook page, which is, there is something you can take to increase squat and bench press strength, which is totally legal, totally natural, and not banned by any governing bodies. The guesses I had had some really, really good guesses. Um, HMB has got human data on strength. Um, creatine, of course, one of the most studied ingredients in sports supplementation. Um, there was sodium bicarbonate, again human data. There were some slightly more obscure ones. Uh, ammonia and a punch in the face will probably work. Um, a gym membership, of course, that's integral. However, no one got it. I was originally wondering whether I should make a video on this and when there are kind of around 100 comments and not a single person got it, I thought this would be an interesting video. So if anyone was close, it was the person who said, I have this one weird trick. And they were close for a reason why, for a reason that they, they don't know why they're close, if that makes sense. I'll explain why they were close. So, in research, there were 11 national level powerlifters. So very, very accomplished lifters. These aren't untrained individuals. They were told, bear with me when, once you hear what I say and keep listening. They were told that they were given a fast-acting steroid, which would increase strength levels straight away. Upon taking this fast-acting steroid, they had a median increase in terms of averages. Bench press went up by 10 kilos instantly. Deadlift went up by 10 kilos instantly. And squat went up by 12.5 kilos instantly. This is the median. Some people were going up to 15 kilos on the squat, 12.5 kilos on the bench press, etc, etc. But those are the median averages across 11 people. So, of course, they were not given a fast-acting steroid. They were given saccharin. Saccharin is an artificial sweetener with zero ergogenic effects. They were given a placebo. These were elite level, national level powerlifters, elite lifters, who put 10 kilos on their deadlift and bench press and 12.5 kilos on their squat instantly that day because they thought they were taking a very fast acting steroid. The next, next phase to this study is even more interesting. Out of the 11 people, when they went to retest strength again, the five of them were told that they had been taking a placebo this entire time. There was no such thing as this fast acting steroid which they were trialing. Out of those five people, not a single one of them could recreate the lift they did previously. So seven days previously when they first did their strength assessment, not a single one of them could hit the figure they had already achieved. So bench press, squat and deadlift, five people, three lifts. Out of 15 lifts, all 15 were weaker than they were a week ago. However, in the six people who still thought they were taking a fast-acting steroid, out of the 18 lifts as a group, only one of them was marginally weaker than it was previously. The other 17 lifts were equal or greater than they were during the original phase of strength testing. So, this is showing that the placebo effect can increase strength significantly and instantly in very well accomplished um, weightlifters. Now, this isn't even a single documented case either. There is another study on resistance trained individuals, very well resistance trained individuals, i.e. five times a week. Now, they trained in a pre-placebo phase for seven weeks. Then at the end of seven weeks, they were told, some people were selected a random app, at random out of the group. They were told that they were taking 10 milligrams of Dianabol per day. Now, for the four weeks subsequent to that, whilst they thought they were taking Dianabol, they gained more strength, significantly more, in the four weeks during the placebo phase than they did in the seven weeks leading up to it. So because they thought they were taking a steroid, they achieved greater results in four weeks than they did in the seven weeks previous to that. Now, why am I making this video? This video was sparked when someone on Twitter had asked me um, about a supplement, uh, a natural anabolic supplement. Now, the supplement he asked me about, I won't name, but its mechanism of action 
the reason why they say it will work in terms of healthy humans has been largely refuted he said to me that reviews are either very very positive or very very negative now what i pointed out was despite the fact the reason this supplement may work or is promoted to work despite the fact that's been largely refuted if there's one thing which you cannot refute that is placebo effect now placebo effect is something that a lot of people misunderstand they think it's something psychological like they thought they were getting better gains but it's how psychology actually influences physiology so psychologically they thought they would be stronger but physiologically they were stronger so they didn't think they were getting better results they were getting greater results now a lot of people think that the placebo effect is something that they are immune to if they're intelligent. For example, when trialing a supplement, I know people who have said they wouldn't get the placebo effect because they know what to and what not to expect. Now, this is misunderstood. Everyone is subject to the placebo effect. That's why in pharmaceutical clinical trials for new drugs, Placebo controlled trials are so so important and it's the same with supplements if doing human data There's in the best studies. You will always find a placebo group to try and eliminate the compounding variable So by having a placebo group and the supplement group or the pharmaceutical group You can isolate the effects of the supplement or drug more specifically so everyone is susceptible to the placebo effect. I am susceptible to the placebo effect, irrespective of, uh, irrespective of my knowledge of what I may or may not be trialing at the time. So the point is, there are things out there that people will take which may have zero physiological or ergogenic effects. For example, in this study earlier, they were taking saccharin. But if they're expecting it to work, it will work. Um, so this is two well-documented trials in very experienced trainees. This isn't this, this isn't experienced just in beginners. In beginners, it could be even greater because the strength gains could be even greater, i.e. beginner gains that someone would get. So the most important thing I need you to understand is that placebo effect is very, very real. It can and will affect you and me, irrespective of how knowledgeable you think you are. You can also have a nocebo effect where if you're expecting something not to work, you can create a self-fulfilling prophecy, which is the reserve, reverse of the placebo effect, i.e. you're very cynical and therefore you don't get any results from it. So how you think something will work can and will influence how well that works. So this one weird trick, which is what the person guessed, is the best guess that we actually had because most of the... Um, that ads you'll see on Facebook about this one weird trick which gave people great strength gains and muscle gains are promoting something which won't achieve that. But, like the study earlier, if you think you'll be able to achieve it, you'll be able to achieve it. So I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to ask questions on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training, or my Twitter page which is BDC Carpenter. Thank you very much.